Chapter 1. Did you find Hebrews chapter 1? Uh-huh. There? That's, that's 10. That's, he, that's Hebrews 10. So go back just a little bit. Philemon. Philemon. Hebrews chapter 1. You got Hebrews chapter 1? That's Revelation. Did we sing? We probably did not sing our Books of the Bible song. We this did. Not yet. today. Not recently. Not even recently. There's Timothy. Timothy. Titus. See there, what's that for what? Titus? Philemon, Hebrews. Hebrews chapter, so now does everyone have Hebrews chapter 1? And verse 4. Now, who wants to read? Who wants to read Hebrews chapter 1, verse 4? Can you read Can you read loud enough so everyone can hear? Oh, they're already starting while I was still talking. Everybody quiet and listen to Ariana. Being made so much better than the angels as he had by Okay, so just read the very first phrase because that's going to tell us what we're talking about. You did really good on the whole thing, but just read the very first phrase. Being, being made so much better than the angels. Being made so much better, right, than the angels. Now, how many of you know what an angel is? Has anybody ever said, oh, he's such an angel? Okay. What do you think of when you, when you hear an angel, Kurt? What do you think of? What's an angel? Okay, you, you got an idea in your mind, but it's hard to say what it is, right? Somebody want to tell me what they think of when they... Jaden? I'm sorry, a person that's what? With wings. I, is that a person that has wings? With wings. Because why do we think angels have wings? Because they can kind of go all over the place really fast, right? Faster than people can. Yeah? Flies what, what, what's that? Flies, flies? I don't think flies can even go faster than angels. What do you, what do you think of? What do you think of angels, uh, Ariana? They're God's, they're God's helpers. Very good. Yes, they are God's helpers. Anything, anyone else have ideas about angels? Um, how strong do you think angels are? 100% strong. They're very strong, right? What, what, how strong? What do you think of? Stronger than anyone on this earth. Stronger than anyone on the earth. Yes. But God. Okay. So angels are very, very strong. They are superhuman, right? They're, they're more powerful than Superman or Spider-Man, right? Those, those guys, they have nothing on angels. Captain America, any of them. All these... Wonder Woman, all of them. Those, those, um, I wouldn't call them people. Those, uh, whatever they are, characters have power in the movies, right? But angels have even more power. They're very, very powerful. Do you think, what do you think about angels? Do you think angels are good or bad? What do you think about angels? Are, is, are angels good? Can angels sin? Are angels good or bad? What do you think? Good. That's right. We think of angels as being good. Now, if we were talking about angels a lot, we would know that some angels were created good, and they chose to be bad, and they are bad. And those are what we call demons. 
So, but we're not talking about demons, we're talking about angels. So angels are good, right? Do they ever sin? Do angels sin? No. Angels don't sin. Um, angels are powerful, they're mighty, they're, they don't sin, right? So angels are really, really special creatures. Is it true they say, like, once someone dies, they turn into an angel? No, that's not true. Um, no? Okay, because when someone, someone means they are a person. So there's human beings, there's angel and angels, and they're not, you don't turn into angels. Now, you, can you actually see angels? Probably when you die, you could begin no, to like see angels. Some people have seen angels, but not very many. Angels appear to certain people. They appear I to... You remember in the Bible when Mary was sitting there and all of a sudden an angel was there? And the angel told her what? That she was going to be Jesus' mother, right? And angels have showed up at certain times. But we don't see angels, but they're probably Can around. They say they yeah. So, we're taking all this time to talk about angels because what did our verse say? Being, what did the verse say? Being made out of much. So much, right? So much better. So much better. So much better than the angels. So who could it be? that is so much better than angels. Because angels are, I mean, they're powerful, they're good. But how could you be better than an angel? Are people better than angels? No, people are not better than angels. So who is this that the Bible tells us about that is better than angels? Somebody know? Somebody want to guess? Amos wants to guess. Don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Anyone else? Got an idea? Who is better than angels? Ariana, let's let Amos, because you've been doing really good answering lots of questions today. Jesus. Ariana, do you think Amos is right when he says Jesus? Yes, he is. Jesus is better than angels. And today, we're going to tell you four different reasons, all from Hebrews chapter 1, why Jesus is better than angels. First of all, Jesus is better than angels because he has a better name. Than angels. You say, what's in a name? Well, angel means messenger. Okay? So if I said to, um, Luke is always sitting on the front row, so he gets to be my example person, right? If I said to um, Luke, Lucas, I want you to go across the street and tell that man that I'll be there in a little bit. Luke has a message, right? And he's got a message to give to that man over there. But is Luke me? No. Okay, now, now between us, there's really nothing better. But for that man, if he's expecting me and he sees Luke, what does he think? Oh, it's not Pastor Rogan, right? It's just his messenger, right? And angels are God's messengers. But are they God? I mean, we... If an angel came to help us, that would be really, really special. But the Bible tells us Jesus is better than angels because Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is Christ. So Jesus has a better name than angels. What does the word angel mean? Messenger. Lucas, remember that. Anyone else remember that? What does the word angel mean? Messenger. And that's a nice name, but it's not a, as good a name as Jesus. So all the angels are God's messengers, but Jesus is the Son of God. He is God. Now, another reason that Jesus is greater, better, as our verse says, than angels, is because the Bible tells us that angels worship Jesus. Does the Bible ever tell us that Jesus worships angels? No. In fact, we're told in the Bible that we shouldn't worship anything except who? Who should? God, right? So if Jesus is being worshipped, that means he is God, right? And so angels are very, very powerful. They're good. They're really helpful. They're, they work for God. But are they God? No. no. And we know they're not God because they worship God, right? And they, who do they worship? They worship God, and, and Jesus is one of the people, one of the persons of God that they worship. So, Jesus is better than angel because his name is better. And what does angel mean? What's, what's the word angel mean? Messenger. That's right. 
And Jesus is better than angels because angels worship Jesus. Then, the third reason that Jesus is better than angels, remember our verse says being made so much better than the angels, is because the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 1 that Jesus is the ruler. Okay? So we're going to say, I don't know if you've seen this in, um, like, books that you read, stories or whatever, but um, does anybody have an idea what this what this thing here, this, like, special kind of chair is? Jaden? A throne. Very good, Jaden. Who sits on a throne? A king. And so the, so the king, the person that sits on the throne, he is the ruler, right? Everybody, now some people might disobey, but everybody's supposed to what? Obey the king, right? Everybody's supposed to obey the person that sits on the throne. And the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 1 that Jesus is the ruler of what? What do we see here? What's this? This is the world, and what's this? Stars and moon. Jesus is the ruler of the whole universe. Now, are angels in the whole universe? Angels are part of the whole universe, aren't they? So who is the ruler of the angels? God. God. And, and who else? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, so Jesus is so much better than the angels because... He rules over them. They all have to obey him because he's the ruler. Well, and who else has to obey Jesus? If he's the ruler of the whole earth, who needs to obey Jesus? Everybody, right? Now, does everybody always obey Jesus? No, they don't. But they're supposed to, aren't they? We're supposed to, aren't we? Yes. How would we know what Jesus wants us to do? Has he written down any rules that he wants us to follow? No? Yes? What do you think, Josh? You said yes. Where are the rules written down that Jesus wants us to follow? The Bible. Now you think yes, right? Yes. The Bible. The Bible is God's word, right? And Jesus is God. So we have Jesus' rules that he wants us to follow. He's the ruler. If we want to be obeying King Jesus, we need to be reading the Bible and knowing what he wants us to do. So number one, Jesus is better than angels because of his, what was the first thing we said? His name. His name. That's right. Because he's the son of God and angels are just messengers of God. Number two, Jesus is better than angels because angels do what? They worship him. Number three, Jesus is better than angels because Jesus is the, the king, the ruler of everything. And number four, the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter one that Jesus is the creator. It's hard to show creation, but we're just going to say that this hand, this little angel, are angels little things? Not really. They are super powerful. They're more powerful than superheroes. But they were made by someone. Right? Mm -hmm. They were made by someone. And the Bible tells us in mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 1 that the angels were made by Jesus. Uh-oh. Rejected. Turn it off. They, they were made by Jesus. So... The Bible tells us in Hebrews 1, verse 4, right? Being made so much better than the angels, it's talking about Jesus. Jesus is greater, better than angels, because he made the angels. The person, the thing that's made isn't better than the thing that made it, is it? No. What else did Jesus make? He made everything, didn't he? So he made the world, he made all the people in the world, he made the animals in the world, he made the stars, he made the angels. So Jesus is better than angels for four reasons today. What's the first one? Because of his name. Tricky, what's the third one? He's the king, he's the ruler. What's the fourth one? 
He's the creator. And what's the second one? Angels, what do angels do to God, toward God? Worship him. So four reasons that Jesus is better than angels. Number one, his name is better. Number one, his name is better. Angels are just messengers. Jesus is God. Number two, angels worship Jesus. Number three, Jesus is the ruler. Angels work for the king, Jesus. And number four, angels were created by Jesus. So for all those reasons, Jesus is better than angels. Now we're going to find out over throughout our whole book of Hebrews lots of different ways that Jesus is better. And why is Jesus better? Because he's God. Is anything better than God? Nothing can be better than God. There's a lot of stuff in the world that God has created and put in place, but, but nothing is better than God, and Jesus is God. So he is better than everything. And what does our verse tell us about Jesus? Our verse says, Jesus Christ, the, the same, the same. So Jesus is better than everything today, right? Jesus was better than everything else when? Yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that, forever, and forever, right? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. So Jesus has always been better than angels, hasn't he? And he is better than angels. And he always will be better than angels. And the reason is because Jesus is God. And we need to know that and understand it. And we need to believe it. And then we need to believe on Jesus. Because we're not God. We're, we're human beings. And we've sinned. And we've disobeyed King Jesus, haven't we? But Jesus, like we prayed, Jesus came and he died on the cross. And he paid the penalty the punishment, he took the punishment that we deserve because we sinned against him. And if we believe on him, he will forgive our sins and give us eternal life. But today we learned especially how Jesus is better than angels. One last time. Number one, because of his name. Number two, because angels worship him. Number three, because he is the king. And number four, because he is the creator. That's right.